All right, just to make fun of these quotes real quick, because these alpha players are still going crazy. But yeah, the vid was mostly just him repeating the same shit. Alpha 2 players are fakes with rose-tinted glasses and how A1 is a superior game. You guys are acting like I talk about how amazing Alpha 1 is. I have many videos talking shit about Alpha 1. If you actually watch the videos, you would see that. I just am more logical than you guys, and I can point out the good and the bad about games. And Raging Storm X... I actually played Alpha 1 on GGPO for a while with a very, very good Alpha 1 player, so I can speak on it. Do you not want to admit that that Alpha 1 player was me? Because I remember beating you. As a matter of fact, I don't remember you ever beating me a single match, to be honest. No, no, I'm not joking. I, I don't remember this guy ever beating me a single match in Alpha 1. And we played multiple sets. Not really. It was kind of hard just to watch, and it's just an opinion. I've never heard of him unless he goes by a different name. Yeah, my name was not Clayton Chapman. I <laughs> fucking GGPO when I was beating you. Are, are you kidding me? These guys make up all this crazy stuff. They just don't want to admit like, oh God, we don't want to admit that we lost the final showdown. Oh, when we already, we would always find out these secret names. So we had to make a different secret name. Teishi say, you know, Seiko Seiko Sta. You know what I mean? These names, you can actually look. Uh, if, if SRK, you can still use the search function. People will find out that, oh, that's Clayton. That's final showdown. So I would make a new name because... After I had quit playing games for so many years, I had finally gotten a new computer, you know, sometime after the dying stuff happened. And I got a new computer and I heard about things like GGPO and Supercade. So I would make these fake names just purposely to randomly play and beat these haters, these supposed amazing people at video games. And I would destroy people, the people that you guys think are gods and the best. I was destroying people. And it's not even just in things like Alpha 1 and Karnas Revenge. I used to beat people pretty bad in Super Turbo as well. Only the very, very top people of Super Turbo that were considered the best, basically, in Super Turbo would even beat me in Super Turbo. You can even go back and look at threads. I was considered, along with like ST Player and... Uh, uh, Dan Die, that kind of stuff, the best old Ryu. As a matter of fact, I could probably even go find a video where people thought that one of my accounts was Dan Dye's fake account on GGPO. Like, only the very top people of Super Turbo beat me, even. And this was with no fucking practice, dude. So, I, I don't know. It's crazy. People don't want to admit that they, they lost to me all these years. Oh, God, I don't remember him. Clayton. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? I, I literally never remember this guy beating me in a single match. I don't know. It's been 10 years. Do, do, do you want another shot at me, bro? It's been 10 years. <laughs> I mean, you just saw how I just been beating people. How bad? The matches are all on fight. Cage. People are just saying Young Legend was the best. You know what I mean? I have nothing against Young Legend. I mean, he seems good. But who won? And the matches of me and Young Legend and Alpha 1 are still up. Who won the first time playing the game in years? I was beating so people, people so bad in Karnons and all these other games. You guys made up a lie to get me banned off of Fightcade. Insane. Anyway, I just think that's crazy that this guy, I literally never remember this guy ever beating me a single match. And he doesn't want to admit that it was me. Thank you. I guess that's rent-free, as they say.